new at noon, together with heavy hearts, family, friends and colleagues honored the lives of the four men killed in an explosion a week ago at a Waukegan chemical plant. Three of those men killed in the explosion were from Wisconsin, including 53 year old Byron Bean of Union Grove, 57 year old Jeff Cummings of Kenosha and 29 year old Alan Stevens of Panic Lake, Wisconsin. Lauren Winfrey has details on today's somber event. The crowd has dwindled in size now, but so many people stood out here, hearts broken, saying they'll miss the four men they lost, but they'll never forget them. Since Friday, the company says they focused on ways to spend time together, grieve and offer support to one another. The families, however, are asking for privacy during a difficult time. Today's memorial was not only to honor the lives of the victims, but also to thank the first responders of the Waukegan Fire and Police Department. Obviously, you wish they were here. Unfortunately, they're not. But they save the lives of others. And that is something that that's a testament of what kind of character they have and how they they live their lives. There are plans to reopen AB Specialty Silicones. They say it will be hard work, but if it's possible to recreate the type of place the men they lost would be proud of, it's a challenge they will accept. The plant will be closed the rest of the week, but will reopen Monday. They'll close periodically throughout the week so that staff can attend funerals. Reporting in Waukegan, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4.